Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another very compact non combat land vehicle, and this one is called the BSE BXF, which is this lovely thing right behind me. So, like I said, it's a very small, very compact land vehicle that features quite a lot of scripts on here to control a lot of different stuff. We've got manual suspension, we've got cruise control, we also have one other, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. Yes, pressing F10 and finding the BSE BXF in the spawn menu. This thing is 133 small blocks, using none of the DLC packs, no mods, and no subgrids, as it says at the top there. We have a little bit of information about it on the Steam Workshop page, so we'll just give this thing a thumbs up, move all the way around to the very front, my character can once again bugger off into the distance, there we go. And we'll have a quick look around the outside, then we'll drive it around for a bit to see what the scripts can do. So, at the very front here, this is what we get. Front and centre, we've got two interior lights to light up the darkness and make sure you're not going to bump into anything at night. Just above there, we've got a bunch of lovely glass blocks to be able to peer inside and out from our rover seeds. We can also see our wheel suspension blocks, how they're being connected up, and you can see just how bare bones this is and how small and compact it's trying to be. Yes, moving around the side there, we've got our standard wheels. We've got some great use of our armoured plates. We can see a couple of batteries at the top there, as well as one all the way down to there. If you were just to come up and peer inside, we'll be able to see our spies on the top. And all the way over to here, we can clearly see our wheel suspension blocks over there. We've got a fantastic view all the way around. Then looking down, these are our rover cockpits, where we've got a lovely LCD screen set up on this one. We've got a note saying, please note, steering wheel is only there to make you feel like you have control, but you don't. Yes, you have to control it from this side over here where we can see our driver assist script, which is the one I was thinking of. So over on this one we've got a bunch of nice information about the script, then over on this one we've got our controls and how to use this vehicle. <laughs> we want to look all the way down to here, we've got a rather, rather scary sight, because that is the ground right below us, and you may lose your foot if you're not careful. Anyway, coming all the way out there and continue around towards the back of this vehicle, there is our other wheel, there is some more interior lights acting as brake lights, there is a camera to help reverse this thing up, and there is a his head which you can use to dock this thing up, or maybe even attach a trailer on if you want to, say, invoke the Wrath of Clang. Moving all the way up and above there, we've got some unfinished armoured plates just to seal up the back. But if we were to come all the way inside, we'll be able to see our beacon, we've got a reactor and gyroscope, there's an antenna, and we can see the batteries we saw earlier inside our cockpit. Moving all the way up and looking down, there's the spotlights, there's our lovely glass roof, comes all the way along towards the front, but we can then go down and underneath this vehicle, and this is what we get. So we've got two cameras, I'm not too sure why this is here, but I'm assuming this is something to do with the mod. We've got two cameras on each suspension, there is two batteries to help power this thing, there is our rover cockpits, and moving towards the back there, there are some more wheel suspensions and more cameras. There we are with that. And that is a very brief look around the outside of the BSE BXF, and that is surprisingly difficult to say in one go. Yes, now I can just grab hold of my character, we can walk all the way over to this and hop it into the left hand seat. The one which says we have no control, so in we get here, these are the buttons we get. We've got a warning saying this is not the main cockpit, so the label is correct, we can't control this, and we've got two unknown buttons right here. So we'll just hop out of that and move all the way around to the opposite side. Coming all the way into here, getting into the seat, first person view, this is what we get, one fantastic view all the way around, and we've got a few controls. So looking down so we don't forget what we're doing. So number one is going to be for our driver assist script to turn it on and off. So we can see there it's now shut down, and then it turns back on. Number two and number three is going to be to raise and lower our suspension. So coming over to here and pressing number two, we'll then lower it down to the ground, then we'll raise all the way up. And I suppose that is what the cameras are for, but still I'm not too sure. Anyway, back to first person view and looking down. Number four is going to be for our cruise control, so just like a ship, we can start moving forwards, press that, and we'll continue along at a constant rate without slowing down. If we were to press it once again, it will naturally come to a stop, and you can see our driver assist script is kicking in and activating our brake lights. Number five and number six is for our batteries to auto or recharge, and to auto or discharge. Number seven and number eight is to attach and detach our rotor at the back there, to use as a trailer. And number 9 is for our camera right at the back there, so we can dock this thing up nice and safely, while say trying to attach our rotor on the side there, and not damage anything while doing it. 
It's coming out that tub number two, three, and four is empty. So now we can drive this thing around on this lovely icy planet. So just driving this thing around over here, we're on a nice flat icy surface and we're going to cap out at about 41 meters per second, which is very nice and very safe for a land vehicle. If you were to come to a stop and start to turn around, we're going to do a quite tight turning circle and you can see there we will just flip over. But it's not too much of an issue because the script will take over and activate our gyroscope and it should ready us and put us back on our wheels. So we just wait a few seconds. There we go. Didn't have to do anything. No mouse control, no keyboard control. The script just does everything. So now we can continue driving this thing around. And there we go. We can always lower down our suspension, raise up if we need to. And of course we can do a little jump in case that's what you want to do. And now we're just going to come off the ice and go towards the snow plains in the distance where we'll have a lot more grip and we'll do a better turning circle. So here we are, we are now on the snowy plane. We now can do start turning this thing around. We are on a bit of an angle, but as you can see there, it really wants to tip over, which can be a bit of a problem if you're going to try and do a tight corner to outmaneuver something. But at the end of the day, if you're doing a more wider corner like I am right now, there's no risk of flipping over whatsoever. And of course, you always got the gyroscope to flip yourself back over. But that is basically it for what the BSE BXF has to offer. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for yourself. I'd recommend you do because it is a fun little compact land vehicle and you could get a lot of use out of it, especially if you were to say attach a few guns on there and well, not randomly flip it like I did. But there we go, the script kicks in once again and we can now drive her off this cliff. Yes, thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.